don't know as much about the, his opponent. The okay, so SFOP, I know a little bit about. I believe he's from Texas, and he and Uncle Mojo had a great run in teams where I think they ended up fifth or seventh, and they took out Fiction and Absent Page in a reverse 3-0. Whoa, that was that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, so SFOP really showed his medal there. He's very, very good, very aggressive, very technical Fox player. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would expect to see a lot of the same. Obviously, Fox can't be quite as aggressive in this matchup as he can in most because Samus has that crouch cancel. She has that wave dash back. If you overexert yourself a little too much as Fox, you could get down smashed and die. <laughs> you know, so. I, I feel like what you said, fast technical Fox, I feel like like Samus counters that exactly. Yeah, so. I mean, for sure. He, You almost have to slow it down as a Fox to to play the matchup properly because if you're just running in with short hop nares, one of them's going to get crouch canceled, one of them's going to get wave dash back and down smashed. You're, it's going to be a bad bad look for you. Oh, wow. Okay, and SFOP's going to barely live that. Nice trade. You know, now that, now that you mentioned uh, or told me a little bit more about SFOP, I, I, I think I saw the, the clip on Twitter where he just zero to death uh, Mojo. Oh, yeah. He's really good. Um, Crazy sequence, that combo. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can find it, but it will probably be on his Twitter. Right. So. Yeah, no, definitely very good player, very technical. Nice there from violence. But yeah, I mean, I I know this matchup a little bit on both sides. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah. Trying yeah, to mean, cut off a side B there. You're a Samus man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I used to make box. Yes! Oh, got him. Let's go, done. violence. Uh, yeah. Oh, and he caught him with the missile. So that's, as Fox recovering against Samus, it's actually really stressful. There's this, it's kind of like this obstacle course that you have to navigate through. And Fox, most of the time, can always recover. It's just, he needs a very specific sequence of aerial drift, fast fall, maybe a shine to reflect a missile or whatever, and then side B or up B with a good angle. It's it's always doable, but it's very, very difficult to do consistently. Right, and Fox's, Fox's recovery is, is literally, it's, it's, um, it's straight. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Ooh. and Samus has a lot of tools to, to cut a lot of those angles off. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is this is really interesting. It's, it's basically two matches of, of up and comers. Who would have thought that? Yeah. These two players would be playing in round two winners. Right? Yeah, no, for sure. I think uh, 2019 is going to be the year of up and comers. Honestly, I think basically we've gotten to the point where the people who started during the resurgence of melee, which was like 2013-ish, I think those people. Oh wow, what a kill from SFOP. I think those people have had enough time to finally catch up in terms of learning tech skill, in terms of getting used to the meta in general, and obviously the meta has been evolving more toward the fast technical play, uh, I feel like this year in particular, we're going to see a lot of these up-and-comers really take some names. I think uh, that, that's largely because of the, the tools available. Not, oh, not, yeah. not just like the knowledge transfer in you know YouTube, streams, right? Um, just a lot of people giving away knowledge, but also yeah. just like the, the tools, like the hack hacks and the training tools that we have yeah, that we allow people to really quickly polish like little things mm -hmm. like dashing, yeah. practicing combos. Absolutely. Violence evening it back up. One stock a piece. Uh, SFOP needs to be careful. This is a very scary situation for a Fox against a Samus, especially with that charge shot locked and loaded. But on Violet's side, he's one up smash away from dying. Right. As well, 89%, 90%, that's really scary. So, yeah. as oh. Samus, uh, he kind of let it rip. Yeah, not sure about that one. In that situation, when it's last stock, and I'm down big in percent as Samus, I'm always looking to save that charge shot for a potential kill. Because, I mean, you're down 100% to zero. Even if you land a charge shot in the neutral, it's not going to do anything. You're not going to be able to get anything off it. 25%, OK, but you still have a mountain to climb at that point. So I usually try to save it for a potential kill opportunity in case it does come up. Plus, it's the fox. It's really scary. It's like, oh my god, he has a charge shot. Exactly. It's going to make the fox a little nervous, too. If you let it rip, then you no longer have that kind of Threat. pressure yeah, that you're Love putting on it. Yeah. Unless it's huge. Um, and so we had Squid in the last match. Oh, OK. Uh, yeah, right now, SFOP is up 1-0 after taking that. Let's go, SFOP. Violence, though, 
Got a nice counter pick here. Oh, oh. and yeah, again. So he's multiple times tried to go out there with that Nair, and he's solely trying to cover a side B. Uh, he's not ready for the up B at all. Both times, S5 has just dropped below the Nair and then up B and recovered. So right. Violence might need to do something a little bit different edge guard wise. I do want to point out that um, that is, that's definitely true, but um, S-Fop uh, also, I think, did a really good job of reacting to it, because I think that exact situation happened in game one. And it looks like, as uh, the recoverer, he's looking for, for when um, Violence or Samus or whatever is going uh, off stage, right. and just like reacting and then actually fast-falling to, to avoid that. So, yeah, yeah. A lot of players don't actually look for that. Yeah, they kind of just commit to a recovery option right away. Right, yeah. right, exactly. But s you know, um, taking every uh, reactable situation and making something out of it. So mm -hmm. that's, that's really good play right there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Violence, again, got the charge shot and a big percent deficit. We'll see what he can do with this. Oh, okay. Good smashy, I believe. Oh, but Nair? Was that Nair up air? Uh, I think it was actually a back air, okay. uh, like a reverse back air into up air. Would Kay. you say this matchup is kind of similar to, to uh, Falco Peach in that like Samus is kind of the Peach where she kind of has the counterattack? <laughs> Like she doesn't. Can she just like make shit, uh, make stuff happen? Uh, I think she can make stuff happen a little more than Peach for sure because she kind of, she has the tools in terms of projectiles and stuff to at least force a little bit of approach from Fox. Um, I do think that it's oh. wow, what a power <laughs> shield. It's similar in the sense that yeah, Fox is going to dictate the pace for most of it, um, but. Samus has a lot more tools, I think, to force that approach from Fox than Peach does against Falco or Fox. Um, so it's going to be definitely a little more in Samus's favor in terms of being able to dictate the pace. Okay. Oh! That was really good from s -Fop. Just straight knowing where he's going to be at the top of the screen. Very hard to do at that height, but he gets it. Oh, man. Good trades for SFOP up a stock. I definitely don't mind those trades too much. No, definitely not on the last stock, especially. Right. Oh. I love the patience from SFOP, too. Well, oh. what a what a really bizarre, but uh, <laughs> good okay. combo. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh he connected that. Yeah, that and that actually kill. barely kills in the corner there. Nice from SFOP. Looking ready for the matchup. I was a little 